What's up guys, I'm Shahana Garza here. Today, we have another install video. Um, I haven't been touching the car lately. It, it works fine, I don't need to touch it at all. But, I've owned my car since 2012 and the only thing on that car that is in stock is the stereo. So, um, when I was doing my right hand drive swap, I ran into a problem. The stereo amp is really in the way. I've been drifting, it's like falling, hitting my feet. It's kind of scary, so um, it's kind of bulky. Long story short, I ended up taping it to the to like the kick panel area, but it, it's not cutting it. It's just it's too much in the way. So, um, yeah, well, we're gonna put a new stereo in it and we're gonna bypass the stock amp so we can so we can get rid of it. But I didn't see too many videos on YouTube about it, but uh, I'm gonna make a pretty easy, simple video. I think this whole process should take, I would say, less than an hour, maybe 45 minutes. For me, probably half an hour because all the bolts in my car are pretty much gone because I only put half the bolts back in when I take them out because race car. So let me show you what I got. Okay, I pretty much put everything together that you're gonna need to do this. Um, luckily, I was just gonna bypass my amp by cutting and soldering, cutting and soldering, but found on Amazon, somebody actually makes an amp bypass kit which comes with, with everything. So we have this, and then um, this is a used stereo, so I pulled this out of the back of the stereo. This is a, what is this? A, I, I rubbed the name off it. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's a JVC. It's a JVC, pretty much a, a basic connector. I think this is a, I think that's like a 16 pin, and I already separated all the wires. All the ones that are kind of going out to the side are all the left, right, front, rear speakers, and then the ones in the middle are the powers, and the grounds, and the illumination. So, I separated all that, I got this, we're gonna connect this to that. Um, I got the head unit right here. Um, I got this I got this DIN kit from Amazon, it was $13. Um, I'll put everything in the description, the only things I bought was this and uh, the DIN kit. So it fits like factory, it's all plastic, but it doesn't matter. I got my wire, my wire cutters and strippers, I got a Phillips and a flathead, I got my soldering iron, my solder, um, the instructions, for the DIN kit and the bypass. And then I got my heat shrink. And then of course, I got this head unit from RJ, 40 bucks. Thanks RJ. Um, so 40 plus 30, 70 plus, let's just say 15, 85 bucks, not bad. Remember, there's a couple kinds. Um, I have the six, I believe it's like the 6.1 inch screen or whatever, so this is made for the 6.1. You can tell by the gap on the side, it's kind of big. If you have the bigger screen, this gap will be kind of smaller. Let's go out, let's check out the car. Hold on, we're gonna need a few of these tools. We're gonna need this, and then this just in case. We'll leave everything here. So my poor car has been sitting outside for a while because I've been working on the garage, as you, as you guys can see. Um, come on, baby, brighten up, there we go. Put some drywall in, we did some painting, and hung the cabinets. We're still not done, but uh, we're gonna wrap this up and then hopefully put the car back. But uh, while well, it's out here, all right, so, uh, yeah, fully, fully right-hand drive, got most of the interior back in. Um, it's kind of hard, I'm still working on the, the hydro fitment, but uh, it works pretty good. Still got some more cutting to do, but anyways, so um, my car is a lot different than yours because um, I only have like pretty much half the bolts in here that I'm supposed to, and pretty much nothing is bolted down, so everything else pretty much pops out. And this, you do kind of just gotta, Gotta get your fingers a little sticky and then put your hand on the bottom. Pull that out. Come on, baby, there we go. Um, my hydro handle, I already loosened it. Oop, whoops. I'll just take that, put it over here. There's two bolts holding the bottom of your stereo in, the one right here, one right here. I only have one of them. And then you take this. Um, I took the bolts out, so mine's just a snap, a quick snap. Like that, just snap that. Kind of just get it out of the way. But if you notice, there's two holes right here. There's one right here and one right here. So um, look on the top of your, your tray. You should have two bolts there, take that out. And then you just kind of put your hands in the vents and pull it towards you. 
these little snap johnnies right here. You know, snap it out. Um, yeah, and then there's two more bolts in the top for the top of the stereo. One over there, and then, yeah, that one's not in. That's all the bolts. I already took it out and unplugged it, but just let me pull it out real quick and show you. There's two plugs on the climate control, and then the two plugs on the stereo, plus the antenna and all that crap. So that's all this sitting right here. Anyways, now we can go in the house, wire everything up. Okay, so on the stock unit here, same thing, it's got that little bracket that holds these two together. Um, this one's just plastic, so there's four holding the radio in, one, two, three, four. One of them I stripped, so three is good enough. Um, there's two up here, one, two, so I'm missing the back one. Same on the other side, so we'll take those out. Um, technically, you can just leave the bracket with the head unit if you want to sell it or whatever. Um, take the screws and then you just pop it right into here. This is the brand right here It's uh, Skosh Skosh and that looks like the part number right there um, This didn't even need the instructions, but I believe this uh, Bypass is the same brand and then there's the model number right there LSO1B We got those but anyways, look how perfect everything lines up. Looks gorgeous. Now all I gotta do is uh, wire that plug to that plug. And then we'll go back to the car, plug it in. So right here on this amp bypass, it pretty much tells you exactly where everything is at. Your factory amp is behind your glove box and it's like bolted to the, to the kick panel. So all you have to do is pull your glove box out, um, press, press it in on each side and fold it out. You can take it out if you want. There's two little pins on the bottom. You just push them out. And then you can see that, unbolt it, unplug it. But anyways, it tells you pretty much what everything is. Your factory amp connector that you're gonna unplug from your amp. Let me get that, yeah, you're gonna unplug that from your amp. And then here's the bypass. And it tells you what all the colors are right here. So, it says right here, um, the white ones are left front. The green ones are left rear. And then the gray ones are right front, and the violet ones are right rear. So the solid wires are going to be positive, and the ones with the little black slit on it are going to be negative. See, like this one right here, it's got a little black slit, but it's a purple wire. So we're just going to follow that, and then it says uh, yellow 12 volt constant, black chassis ground, red 12 volt accessory. So let's get to it. I just finished soldering the wires. It took me about, I don't know, 15 minutes. Um, I have them all soldered and heat shrinked. So what I did was literally just match color for color, red, red, yellow, yellow. And then there's a couple leftover wires here that I'm not sure about on the head unit side. So I kind of looking that over. Um, I find no use for them. So if we plug everything in and there's something wrong, then I know one of these wires is gonna need to be used. Here's the whole harness now. Um, all I have to do, go in the car, unplug it from the factory amp, plug it into this. Plug this into the stereo, boom. It should work. There's a few things I still, interior pieces I still need to put in here, but as you can see, oh, come on, get down there. Okay, there's the factory amp. It's just kind of sitting here behind like the kick panel because there's no room for it. Um, so, take this kick panel off kind of hard to do with one hand take this kick panel off here's my my mess of wires sorry you had to see that now let's just pull this amp down okay so here's the factory stereo amp it's time to get this puppy out of here I got one unplugged we're gonna take this plug unplug it and take this we're gonna throw it in the freaking trash let me get rid of that ow that hurt. We're gonna take this easy little ant bypass. We're gonna clip it right in. And then we're gonna take this wire. We're gonna feed it up. Feed it up behind there. I don't have any AC vents. See my fingers? Fish it up here. Fish it across there. So I'm just gonna um, wrap the wires in harness tape. And then after that, fish it back down to the head unit. 
Boom. So let's wrap this in harness tape real quick so it's, the wires don't look like crap. So before I put everything back together, I got my, uh, my car keys and I got this iPhone cord to plug in, make sure everything works. Okay, oh shit, look it's on. Wow, I actually did something right for once. Huh. What a concept. Okay, well let's just get it going for, wow, this is sick. Okay, wow, that's kind of old though. Well, we're gonna get copyrighted, so I'm not gonna play this. All right guys, pretty much got the car buttoned back up. Everything looks good, the stereo looks good. Check this out. Oh, what is that? That's a picture of my car, right there. Figured out how to do it. This is sick, I love it. Well guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Um, I hope this helped you because, uh, I mean it's pretty straightforward, but I hope it helps you if you're on YouTube looking this up, because I always like to look things up before I do them, so. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up either here or hit me up on Instagram. My name is Ister Henry Garza. Mm. Yeah, that's going to be it. Thank, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. Um, yeah, you know, it helps me. Like this video if you find it helpful or dislike it if you think I'm an asshole. Whatever. This is Andrew Garza from Slightly Modified. I'm out. Peace.